welcome to the Hello Summer um, door hanger. So a couple things to get you started here. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your paint um, and you're gonna wanna get your round painted. Um, so you'll do both sides. Um, it's gonna be a couple coats aside. It's gonna use up most of your of the paint in here. Um, so that's gonna obviously be a little bit of a slower process because of needing to flip and wait for coats to dry. So once you do accomplish that and you have both of your sides all ready to go and you're painted and everything is the color that you want, um, what you're going to do is there's going to be a little bit um, and a little container in there of poly. So what poly is, it's just a sealer. Um, it helps sealing in your paint, especially since these are going to be made to go outside if you want them hanging on a door or something like that. Um, it also gives a nice uh, surface for the vinyl to bind to. Um, so it's clear. So when you put it on, um, you're not going to want to be able to see any piles of it. Like right here, you can see. You want to just make sure you smooth that all out. That sounded very Canadian when I said that out. Um, so you'll smooth that and um, this dries pretty quickly. So if you want to do a couple coats um, over the course of like an hour or so, you will be able to, should be able to do that, should be able to dry pretty quickly. So you want to do that for the front and the back um, as well as getting on the sides here. So this is sealed as well. Um, like I said, this is just a, it's a sealer. It helps with the vinyl adhesion and then, um, with it being outside with elements and the, the sun and the rain, those sorts of things. Obviously, you d if it's going to be someplace where it's going to be regularly getting wet, um, that's probably not going to be the best idea. I mean, it's not, it's not made to actually like be full on like in the rainforest, but like on a front door where like it could get wet or there's temperature changes, things like that, um, this will be fine. So do that, get everything, make sure it's nice and dry. Um, I would do that and then at least give that poly a few hours, if not a 24 hour turnaround um, before you go at it with your vinyl. So moving on to the next step, after everything has been dried and you're ready to go with applying your vinyl. So if you've done a lot of vinyl work with me in the past, this one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, there's gonna be a little extra step that'll have you guys do. Um, for a couple reasons, um, just because it also gives you a little bit of liberty to move some of your words around how you want them, your little popsicles. So what you have in your kit is you're going to have, um, your vinyl stickers, and then you're going to also have, um, some carrier paper. So that is going to be this clear, um, it's going to be sticky on one side, not sticky on the other. Um, and then you're also going to have a sheet with your little popsicle sticks. So why this is a little different is normally I do this part for you guys, um, but just because there is so much vinyl with this workshop and because I want to be able to be customized for you, um, I'm going to actually have you guys do this part, which is not very hard. So I'll teach you guys a new skill too. So go ahead and, um, you know, start kind of putting things where you are thinking you would want them. I always encourage dry um, a dry run before you place your vinyl just to get an idea make sure everything fits and then like I said you could do whatever with these popsicles if you want to like tilt them and do some different things with them like that or like use up more space here um feel free um the first thing I did was I actually I put my hello down um so that was the very first thing I did was was that um and that will be done using the same technique I'm about to show you so when you're ready to go you'll grab your vinyl piece and you'll peel off this transfer tape. Now you're gonna use this transfer tape. There's a couple pieces in your kit. You're gonna use it a couple times in this workshop. So when you get done with it the first time, don't like throw it in your garbage. You're gonna need it again. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna rub over it. You're gonna find this tool in your kit. This is um, a scraper tool. Hang on to this too once you're done with this workshop. Um, Cause if you get other vinyl workshops in the future, this will be something you can use again. Um, and then you'll peel it up. So make sure you're always going slowly, like watching it. Um, it should come up pretty easily. And then you'll place it where you want it. Now remember this is permanent vinyl, so this is gonna kind of be, um, you know, where you place it is where it's gonna live. I'm kind of doing one every other, one's lower, one higher. 
is what I'm doing here. I'm not a measurer. If you are a measurer, you measure it out and you just go at it with your little heart. I am not one of those people and I have no judgment um, for people that are. So then you go over it and it's going to peel the transfer tape off. Remember, you're keeping this. And this is going to stick down. Um, this vinyl is going to want to stick to the surface. Remember, we prepped it. We sealed it. It's just a really awesome, perfect surface for this vinyl. So it is going to want to stick. You shouldn't have any problems. Then you're going to come over here. And you're going to grab one of your little sticks. So I just put it look, right there. I put it right over one of these little sticks. Peeled it off, went over where I want it, right there. Boom, see, see what that is? This is kind of like a carrier. It's kind of the, the vehicle from your vinyl from the sheet onto the wood. And then you just keep going with that. Like I said, it's going to want to stick to that wood so it shouldn't take a lot of convincing. And then we'll go over again. We'll get another one of these little doodabbies. Stick it on there. Boom. And then you'll just keep going with that. And then, like I said, that's how you'll put your hello on, too. Um, obviously, you won't need to um, do the part where you get a little stick because uh, your hello doesn't, is not a popsicle. Obviously, you're not going to need this anymore, so you can get rid of that. Um, and then, yeah, if you want to add to it on your own, if you add bows or something like that, um, feel free to show it off or how you're hanging it on the door. Um, once you do just get done, just you can always do a quick little push of the rhino, make sure everything's down. Um, and then, just a word of caution, if you have any more of that um, sealer, sometimes we think like, hey, that would be a good idea, let me put some over this. Do not cover your vinyl with sealer. Um, it messes with the chemical reaction that is in the vinyl that actually is making it stick to this. Um, it's just kind of, it will get underneath here and it can make it bubble. So it's actually a bad thing. Do not ever put any sort of poly or anything over permanent vinyl. Um, permanent vinyl in itself is made to stick and stay on. Um, so yeah, do not, even if you're tempted, do not put any of that sealer over your vinyl.